Here you can see our ice hockey playing robot Jennifer. Uh, this is the result of about 10 years of research on uh, humanoid robots that we've been working on with my students, a group of about 10 graduate students. Um, we have been competing at various international competitions for a number of years now. Uh, we named the robot Jennifer after Jennifer Botterill, the uh, well-known Winnipeg female hockey player. So. Uh, the robot itself is a commercial off-the-shelf robot. We have The only hardware changes we've made is bolting handmade little aluminum skates on the feet and attaching a little hockey stick to it. Uh, so all, most of the changes we've made are on the software because no one's tried making a robot ice skate before so we've had a lot of work, you know, how do you get a robot to balance on skates because you can't push backwards when you're walking, you have to focus on pushing sideways and trying to glide. So we've been working from walking as a baseline and trying to modify the walking gait, which we've, you, we know works very, very well, and trying to extend that to walking on basically what amounts to a very slippery surface. The robot is completely autonomous. There's no processing or anything that happens on my computer. Everything happens inside the robot. But everything is done autonomously. So once I hit go, I can unplug my computer from the robot and the robot will keep going. The overall goal is really to develop competencies for, <coughs> for robots so that they can be useful for society in the future, including one of the particular areas that we've been working on is humanoid search and rescue. So we have the um, IEEE Humanoid Winter School here in Winnipeg next week where we have researchers from Taiwan and the US come and talk about their research on humanoid robotics with some of my friends and colleagues. And that particular event we also opened up to the general public and hobbyists. So uh, we hope to get some uh, people that are interested in robotics from as high school teachers or hobbyists to also take part in that. Uh, we have also some hobbyists from the US. And uh, because of that, we needed to get the robot ready for this, uh, this winter school next week.